Hey y'all, I'm back with another video just to give y'all some insight on SVGs. Like, a lot of people be like, oh, where'd you get that SVG from? So I can, so they can pay for it or whatever. But I don't know if you guys know like how simple it is to make your own SVGs. It may be some some, it may be some SVGs that you may have to figure out exactly what you need to do to get that look. But if you just play around um, in silhouette, you probably can do almost anything. Um, and that's pretty much what I do. I just play around with different stuff on silhouette to try to figure out how can I create certain things. Like, especially that's going around as far as like logos, like the Fanta logo or the the tired logo, sick and tired and Rona, or all these different logos that people are using, taking the words out, putting your own words in. Um, it's also simple. So basically what people do is do Google searches, right? They find pictures. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna pick something. So oh, so let me tell y'all about uh um a website called Clean PNG. This is a website where these are all transparent images. And most of the time, a lot of people get images from here. And then there's some other websites um, that they look on as well. I know this being as one of them, you'll probably see like a lot of stuff on here that's being sold for like four or five dollars and then people are just adding words to it. So like here, here's the 4th of July. Like it's a lot of stuff on here that you can get for the 4th of July. So people come here and then they turn this into an SVG or a PNG and then sell it to people for the 4th of July. So like if you want it, make a t-shirt you can just click this if we wanted this picture we can just click this and save it and just upload it in, it into silhouette and print it out on paper either 11 by 17 or 13 by 19 but what i really wanted to show you let's say we choose batman and i'm going to do a couple of images um let's say we choose batman logo actually so you see all of this stuff that they have. So you have even this stuff from the Etsy, which a lot of stuff you're not supposed to use, but this is what people is doing. When you see them say, hey, you know, could you make me this logo? This is what they're doing. So you just take the pitch, the pitch, <laughs> okay, talk. Take the picture, copy the image, right? Go to your silhouette and you can get silhouette for free. Go to your silhouette, click it and enlarge it. I just basically copied and paste. I did control C and control V. Control C to copy, control V to paste. So if you go on the right hand side, there's a little piece of toast. Click select area. Take your right or not right click, but left click and hover over to create a box. Excuse me. And then release. And that basically gives you an outline of this Batman logo, right? So it selected it, and we want to use under the trace style, we want to use the trace on the top. So we trace it. So now you'll see there's some red marks. So basically, it traced the outline of the picture. So now what you want to do is click the background, that white background, delete it, and now you have this. So when you or when the system um traces it it comes as one picture so you might think like how am i going to move this around and change the colors of the batman make it a different color and then we have some stuff left over right here on the right hand side that we really don't need so what you do is click the image right click go to release compound so now we have released the picture so that we can move each each um 
entity itself or each picture itself. I'm lost for words today. Y'all. So what we want to do is we want to create a box over this just so we can kind of move it out of the way. And so we can delete this. So we want to draw left click, draw a box around this and hit backspace or delete. Now remember this, we have release compound on this. So this is a bunch of different pieces. So when we wanna move it, we hover over it by left clicking and dragging the mouse, right? So that we can move it to the middle. So. Hold on. Hover over it and then make sure it has the little pointy fingers and then we move it, right? Now we click outside of it. But I say we wanted this Batman to be black. We go up to the left, right there where the little crisscrosses are, and we just select black. Now it has a red outline around it. No matter what color you change this to, your um, silhouette is still going to cut it. So let's say we change it to black. So now that is black. Say we wanted to take this out. And we wanted our Batman sign to have this double line um, with the color within it, which is yellow or something like that. Let's do yellow. So all we basically what we would do is group this, group it, right? So now let's change the color. No, we don't want to group it. Hold on. See, this is where I start playing with it. So it's either release or make a compound. Let's see. There it is. So let's make a compound. So basically, you would make it a compound so that way you can color it. Rewind. Let's go back and do that again. So we want to group, group both of these so that we can make it a solid color. So I am going to group it. Then I'm going to go back and make it a compound and change it to yellow. I didn't click it all. Change it to yellow. So now you see we have those red lines around it. Those lines will not print unless you tell those lines to print. But just for the sake of the looks, I'm gonna change that to yellow too. So now we take our Batman, we put it back in here. We can center this Batman by um, left click, drag over it so it creates the box around it. Then go up here to where you see the little bars and do center. So now it is centered. So now all we have to do is, in order for our pieces not to move around, we need to group this picture. So we group it, and that makes it one. So say we wanted to add like super dad or something like that. Super dad. So we basically what I did is went over to the left to select the text. And now I'm going to make sure my cursor is the little eye and drag over the words. Left click, drag. And I am going to change the color of the words. Let's say I wanted the words to be black. And I'm going to change the outline, the line type. I'm going to change it to black. Um, say if you didn't want that particular font, you would go over here to the A with the line and you can change the font. So let's say we wanted the AD lib or ad lib, whatever it is, BT. So now we have it. Um, say we wanted that to be a little bigger than that, then we would select super dad and you see the little squares. You would hover your cursor over the square until you see that little arrow going diagonal back and forth. So we hold down left click and pull out drag our mouse out so basically we just created our own svg now let's make sure we have this centered 
So now it's centered. So now I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to group it. So say we wanted to do sublimation. Then all we would do is go to file, go to save as, save to hard drive. Now you see right here where it says save as type, you would change it from Silhouette Studio V3 to PNG. That's the good thing about Silhouette is that you can actually save the files as different file types. You cannot do this in the Cricut. And that's one thing that is upsetting with the Cricut, um, other than not being able to print really big or um, print and cut, is you're able to do this in Silhouette. I love Cricut, but Silhouette has this part of the game and it's super nice. <laughs> um, so I say we want to name this Batman. We basically just save this. I have a folder called PNG images. So I now I can save this. I can click OK. Another good thing about this is if you want to, so oh, sorry. So here's the next box that pops up. So it's asking you if you want a transparent background. Yes, we do because we want to put this on a t-shirt and we don't want a background. So we would click that box to create that check mark and go ahead and hit save. So now that it is saved, so anytime you want to make that shirt, we can. Another thing that you can do is save it to your library in Silhouette. So at the bottom right here, you would just change the name to Batman and hit OK. So that is how they make SVGs pretty much. Um, you can click this, you can make this um, different files. So um, if we were to send this over to cut, you, you have the option of cutting on the outside, cutting within. So it will cut this for you with no problem. this one is not highlighted. So you would have to go in to change that. But this is simply, I'm just doing a video to kind of show you guys how you can trace and create your own designs. I pretty much just use um, sublimation. I sublimate everything. So this is it for sublimation. That is all. Um, you can ungroup this so that it is separate, so that every piece is separate. And then you can change this to an SVG. You can ungroup this part as well. So when you go over to make this, it is now separated. Um, so you have the option to do it by color as well. So it shows you simple, it shows you line, it shows you feel, and it shows you layer. So you have the option to do so. Um, the reason why it's showing half like that is because it's not in the center of the paper. So, but this is how you would cut it. And basically you would select cardstock, vinyl, whatever it is that you're using, and your machine will cut it. So guys, this is a quick way for you to um, make SVGs is, is just that simple. Um, let's say that we wanted to let me see what other I'm trying to think what else. Um, So they have all these different logos and people have changed it to put Michelangelo and all this different stuff. So they basically just did the same thing I did. They basically take this picture, basically right click, copy the image and bring it into silhouette.
paste it in there. Enlarge it. Sometimes you have to play around with the trace. So you can do solid fill, you can do outline. Um, the number, the main things that I use is the threshold and the high pass to kind of bring that picture in. So the more yellow you have, the better you are. So like you see, it's some a little bit of rigid areas. And you also wanna make sure that you select the picture that is, um, that is high in DPI or either pixels, they call it. Um, I can change the threshold. I can make the outline smaller or a little bigger. Um, we would want to keep it just like that. Or I can trace the outer edge. I can do the outline. It's so many different options. So then you would just click trace. I know it doesn't have the whole thing, but I'm just trying to give you all an overview. So guys, that is how that works. You can basically take any picture and turn it into a SVG. Even if it's a heart or something that you want, all you have to do is trace it. So I hope you guys found this video um, to be of some help to provide you with a little bit more information on how the SVGs are being created. I know I didn't fully, fully, fully go to all the details of all the different things. There are so many different ways of doing things that I cannot possibly go through all of them. I just wanted to give you the gist of how you can trace and turn images into your own images um, with your creativity. So thank you for watch watching this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, make sure that you click the bell and hit all so that you can get all of the videos um, that I post from time to time. I also have a group which is touched by, and it actually it's Learn Arts and Crafts with, Touched by an angel, 36. Um, this will be listed below in the description. You guys have a wonderful day.